What's your name? My name's Darcy Lynn. Okay, and Darcy, who's that? My name's Petunia. Who talks? <laughs> is it a bunny? Yes. Oh. Is that a real bunny? <laughs> oh, we're going to find out. <laughs> okay. And Darcy, why did you both decide to enter the show? Well, it was one of my big dreams. Um, but also, I would really like to keep uh, ventriloquism alive because it's not common, you know? So. <laughs> well, listen, Darcy, best of luck. I really hope you both Thank do well. Thank you so much. All right, good luck. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're going to sing? Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. <laughs> so. Josh Orlean. What are you going to do for us today? I'm a stand-up comedian. Aww. I love comedians! <laughs> How old are you? I'm 12. 12 years Whoa. old. Take Give it a me. shot. All right. What an honor to be auditioning in front of the best judges in the world here at America's Got Talent. But I have to say, though, it took me such a long time to get here in front of you. When I first got here and saw the line of people waiting to audition, my father said to me, wow, this is so much longer than I expected it to be. The last time I heard those words, I was at my doctor getting a physical. <laughs> Love that. I have some exciting news. I just had my first date. A girl from my class came over to my house the other day, and as her mother was leaving, she told my friend, remember, you're allergic to nuts. All I can think to... <laughs> I haven't even said the joke yet. Yeah, you have. <laughs> All I can think to myself was, well, there go my plans for the afternoon. <laughs> for a long time, I wanted to be a circus performer, and my parents even sent me to circus camp. I learned how to juggle, how to ride a unicycle, and I came home from camp one day telling my mother I wanted to learn a new trick. I wanted to learn how to be a sword swallower. She said, no way, we'll let you do other things, but we're not gonna let you be a sword swallower. So I was upset and I wanted to talk to my dad about this. He said, I'm not surprised. Your mother hasn't been interested in sword swallowing since we got engaged. <laughs> Mom, think about these jokes. Especially oh, that one. Yeah, she just heard them for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
All right, let's find out what the ladies think. Mel B. What are we going to do with you? Uh, Hopefully put me through to the next round. Well, we just got let into what a 12-year-old mind is thinking about. By you the way, it's not that different from what I'm thinking. <laughs> I have to say, uh, <laughs> you're 12 years old and you're talking about all that dirty stuff. I like it a lot. <laughs> In your eyes, touching on you more and more every time. When you leave, I'm begging out to go. Call your name two, three times in a row. Such a funny thing for me to try to explain. I'm feeling my pride is the one I blame, but I just don't understand how your love can do what no one else can. Got me looking so crazy right now. Your love's got me looking so crazy right now. Got me looking so crazy right now. Your touch got me looking so crazy right now. Got me hoping you're baby right now. Hello, uh, my name's Derek Santos. You seem a little bit nervous, are you? Not at all. <laughs> um, do you have a girlfriend? I do have a girlfriend. She's here. Oh, no kidding. Yep, somewhere out there. And, and, and... Still looking for her. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the stage is yours. Good luck. Awesome, thank you. All right, you. here we go. So my parents are really weird. My mom dresses up like my dad, and my dad dresses up like my mom. They're transparent. <laughs> oh yeah, they're a real drag. <laughs> so I've been wearing diapers recently, you guys. I usually only wear diapers for two reasons. Number one and number two. <laughs> I'm going bananas, is what I tell my bananas before I leave the house. <laughs> I'm going bananas, so I'm glad you guys found that appealing. <laughs> I hate it when my friends ask me to do them a solid Especially when I've been eating grapes all day. <laughs> That's not going to be solid. <laughs> all right, guys, so I'm going to leave you guys on a high note here. <laughs> Hello. Hi, who are you? Uh, I'm, 
I'm Joe Matteris. Are you going to be singing for us today? Thank God, no. Oh. <laughs> I'm a stand-up comic. You are? Go for it. Let's hear it. See, Daddy. Uh, let's start with my age. I'm 46 years old. Like, here's a sign you're getting old. When you go to an empty bar and you go, I love this place. <laughs> <laughs> this place is dead. It's my new hangout. I love it. Uh, here's another sign I'm old. I currently uh, play on an over 40 men's softball league. <laughs> this is true. Nine out of 12 guys on our team had injuries this past year. But we're all old, so none of their injuries were from playing the game. <laughs> Pete Trumpsky, the third baseman, blew out his ACL stepping over a baby gate at two in the morning. <laughs> Who's funny? I think another reason why I feel old is I'm 46 with a six-year-old and a one-year-old, you know? Like, there's a lot of acting involved in being a dad, you know? A lot of pretending you care. I think I could win an Oscar for some of my performances in my own living room. The category would be nominees for best caring in a non-caring situation by a father. <laughs> Joe, Luke's father, for saying, yeah, uh, that really is a cool leaf. <laughs> the best part about being a parent is really easy to have a good time once you have kids, because all you have to do is not be with your kids. As soon as you walk out your front door, you're like, are we in the Bahamas? <laughs> That's it for me. Thank you. Awesome. I loved it. We clawed, we chained our hearts in vain. We jumped, but never asking why. We kissed, I fell under your spell A love that no one could deny What? Don't you ever say I just walked away I will always want you I came in like a wrecking ball I never hit so hard enough All I wanted was to break you ever did was wreck me Yeah, you, you wreck me It's slowly turn, you let me burn And now, your ashes on the ground Don't you ever say I just want to wait I will always want you I can't live a life running for my life I Break you,
thought to her and I said, I hope she's a comedian. Oh. And yes, you are. You are a genius. I am. And what do you do? I deliver groceries to other people that can afford to pay me to deliver their groceries. Okay. <laughs> so now I know that there are seven different types of figs that wealthy people eat. Well, I wish you good luck. Okay. And I hope you're going to make us all laugh. Here we go. No pressure there. <laughs> <laughs> So it's a huge misconception that guys are like dogs and women are like cats. We have it backwards, okay? Guys, you're like cats. You're aloof and emotionally unavailable. <laughs> women are exactly like dogs. We're exactly like dogs. We're like, hey, where are you going? 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 Can I go? 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 I'm gonna wait right here. 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 I'm gonna shoes. <laughs> Great. See, guys, you're like cats. You're like I'm gonna... shoes. <laughs> wow, that's great. See, see, guys, you're like cats. You're like, oh, you're home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna feed me. <laughs> then I'm gonna stare at the window at nothing. <laughs> then I'm gonna pass on the bathroom. Deal? Do we have a deal? <laughs> Women are like dogs. We clean up after ourselves, right, ladies? You ever seen a dog vomit? Eats it right back up. <laughs> yeah, usually does it in private. Eats it up, no evidence. You don't even know what's happened. Guys, you're like cats. You'll just puke anywhere and make a huge scene about it. And then you're like, oh my God, can you clean that up? It's so gross. I don't want to touch it. I don't. <laughs> Here comes a dog. I got it. I got it. I totally got it. <laughs> Women are like dogs. We need to be groomed. Shampoo, condition, blow dry, fluffy. <laughs> Guys, you're like cats. You're like, what? I'm dirty? Oh, I'm dirt. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you. Can we see it? Let's drop it. Let's drop it. Let's drop it. What do you drop? Your pants? I like big foots in a cage. Nick, can I have you out? Also, can I have the audience please to stand up? Please. You gonna teach everybody how to twerk? You teach everybody how to twerk. Okay. Judges too. You're wrong. Yeah. There you go. There. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Gattis Candis. Do you know, this is the only comedian I've ever found funny. <laughs> well, look, Gattis, welcome back. The stage is yours. Good luck. Oh, all of it? Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you. Go on, Candis. So, you know, the, now is uh, after a few cold days, it's getting warm outside. And I like the warm weather because it makes me warmer. Uh, that, that's my warm-up joke. <laughs> <laughs> when my chicken has a birthday, I don't tell him uh, because he would not understand. <laughs> uh, so, so, yeah, I have another animal joke. Uh, woof, 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 woof. Uh, that, that's a joke you can take home for your dog. <laughs> Simon, ha have you got a dog? Three. Will you tell your dogs my joke? Yeah. I was thinking about that when you said it. Yeah, let, 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 let me hear it. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> mm. <laughs> not, not sure they're gonna understand. Can you try it with my accent? Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> oh, th thank you for making me sound so sexy. 
So, does anybody like seeing couples kiss in public? No? No, well, well I do. And, <laughs> and every time I do, I always go up to them and I stare directly at them and usually they stop. And then, then they ask me, do you mind? And I'm like, I don't mind. <laughs> Uh, my uh, name is Gattis Kandis, and in case you want to follow me, uh, this is what I look like from behind. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, Gattis! Alicia. Do you know, I absolutely love you. <laughs> Thank you. Your jokes are just ridiculous, and I like how you deliver them, which is just yeah. like you've accidentally found the stage. <laughs> you are actually, like I said, the only comedian that's really ever made me laugh. 